The side man's name is Wally B from Supertone Recording at 110 Acre Lane in Brixton. Bigging up Dan Sinclair and Rudy Cooley and Sean T. Blessed love. Welcome, 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 YouTubers, to another quick fire interview. Yeah? Go and big up yourself, Dan Sinclair, and big up yourself, I'm Rudy Cooley. And you know, I am interviewed today, I go by the name of Sean T. And who we have here, who do we have here? A cornerstone of the community of reggae music, a pillar of strength. The history is strong, the history is great people. Um, so yeah. let me introduce to you. From Jamaica to the UK. From Jamaica to the UK. The man they call Wally B, Supertone yeah, Music and Supertone yeah, yeah, Record yeah. Shop. You don't know. How you doing, sir? I'm sorry, I'm good, man. I'm good. 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 I'm there, you know. That's nice. That's nice. That's good. So, so it's alive. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. So what we do here, we, you know, it's quick find if you're going to think something is we're going to talk about your history and the greatness of what you bring forth to the, to the music and the culture. Yes. Okay. So let me just start off. Where, where are you from, brother? I'm from Jamaica, man. Yeah. I'm Jamaica. I'm born in St. Catherine, man. Okay. I grew up in a Kingston. Ah, nice. Nice, nice. I grew up in Kingston, then I'm town, Jonestown, yeah. Rima, Trenchon. Mm -hmm. I live right around the other town. I'm the 50s, man. Uh, so, when, so, when, um, so, did you do your schooling in Jamaica? Yeah, mama, fully school in Jamaica. Okay. What school did you go to in Jamaica? I school in Jamaica. My parents buy a piece of country, so okay. they buy a Mount Industrial School in St. Catherine. Okay. Which was a great school because they didn't want to run up and down in a town. So, they <laughs> can't go to country school. I mean, I love it still because we learned a lot there. You know? Yeah. Um, so, so, what year did you come to England then? I come to England in 1964. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, so, what was it like when you, when you came to England? What was, what was the atmosphere like? Well, you know, when I came really to England, for why? Well, the point of it was the house, them, I thought they were all factories. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was saying when I come to Southampton, what a lot of factories in England, you know? Okay. But when I realized there were houses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So is that, is that when you first fully got into the music, when you, when you first came over? No, man. I deal with the music business from Jamaica for me. Actually, oh. in the 50s, man. Okay. I don't forget my reggae music start from about. 1952, 53, and, uh, mm -hmm. and from them days, you know, you know, all the sound, the early sound system, you know. yeah. I tell you about the Jamaica part of the sound industry. Okay. You know, we go most of the sound in that Jamaica, you know, mm -hmm. when the sound system just begin. Yeah. You know, them time, you know. So, we know most of the sound system, you know, we go at them as a little boy. Ride my bicycle and take them and take an hour, two, three, four, so that for the night, <laughs> okay. you know. And that's how I know the business. Okay, that's, that's what is that what inspired you to be involved in, in the music? I'll tell you, earlier on, when my parents buy a place in Swim Catching, my father was a farmer mm -hmm. and then buy some land. And, and the land where I buy, they have a, at the house, they have a, a land upon that land. And in those days, it was a sound system time, really. Okay. It was orchestra. Okay. So we used to hire that land. Yeah. Like an Easter and Aldeje. Mm -hmm. And then we used to make the bamboo land, you know, okay. the port that okay. yeah. tough and thing like that. So yeah. for me, I was exposed from very early to see the Jamaican music come along, you know. Yeah. But those days was orchestra, like five piece band and okay. thing like that, you know. And a live singer. I'm not, I'm not very enthusiastic. You look at me, you used to make all my own instruments, you know. Yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah. Look at a bamboo guitar, man. <laughs> man. You know, them years, when I get a Christmas gift with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we yeah. start learning from them, we blow all the motor organ, you know. Okay. Because so, really, when we was a youth, I was always <coughs> wanting to play the guitar or the piano, but, you know, at them times, I wouldn't. Get the opportunity to do so. Okay. You know? But the music never come out of me, man. You know? Take all the out and play bass. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, the bass we play with the reggae today. Yeah. We have cut up the story. 
man learn to play bass, the kind of bass slide when you're with the mouth. Okay. And because we never have no instrument at those time. Okay. There was no instrument around, you know. I thought it was pretty slave, really, so we never get into that. Yeah. Know. I don't forget, you know, we, we were one of the first Jamaican that, so we never see exposed to a lot of the okay. music and instruments mm -hmm. and things, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But we mm -hmm. learned that because when my mother could have danced a quadrille, yeah. she was a very good quadrille dancer. Mm -hmm. I laugh at her because you know, the yard and he lived now, the two of them used to keep the dance, you know, it. Mm -hmm. they came to dance, the mere Road it, it poured. Oh, yeah, yeah, poured. yeah, 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 I know you. And my mother was a, was a bright, bright girl, too, you know. Okay. So we used to get a lot of fun with her, because she used to wear her frat tea, you know. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And the camera used to watch more of that, you know. Nice. So from, I was kind of exposed, you know. Okay. With the, with the quadril. Yeah. But time that is long before we even had the mentor, really. Okay. Because the mentor was actually our first music that we invented in Jamaica. Uh, that, was, that, was a, that was a dance hall. You hear people tell about dance hall. Yeah. That's what the, the popular music at each time, mm -hmm. up to now, yeah. that was dance hall. Yeah. So we know a dance hall. Yeah. We don't know dance hall like that simply because it's a dance hall. Yeah. What music was popular, mm -hmm. even if it was Calypso in the herd or that, that was the music for the general public. Yeah. That's what we call it, the dance hall, okay. you know. So from them time, we learn a lot and see people dancing, which part we have our land that used to full all the way. Because that, that push, my yard was like the front line. So I was into the knowing of Jamaica, okay. popular music from early, okay. you know. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. So, did, so moving on, did, did you buy, did you, did you buy music? What was the first record that you, that you think that you ever did? Well, there was no music in Jamaica. Before I come to, when I get older into Kingston, mm -hmm. at those days there was no music to buy. Okay. Were you listening to jukebox? You know, there wasn't no jukebox, so we used to have radio. Okay. In those early days. And there was a station you could not hear some good music play. You see, I've listened to that station from America, Cuba, where it comes from, ZQI. Okay. That was the Jamaica first radio station, really. Oh. Before all the rest of the radio station, you know, GAB, CNR, mm -hmm. there was no such station in that. I was lucky enough to born in that era, yeah. Yeah, where those things wasn't around, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So ZQI was the station where we listened to Rhythm and Blows. Mm -hmm. The rhythm and blues used to come on that time. My father used to have a, have a radio, so we used to turn it. We could hardly hear it because the reception was very good, you know? Yeah. So that was it in, in, that, in that period. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I got through my school period. Mm -hmm. I like a boy. I like school very much, so I go to school and I learn a lot of things in school. But as bench and I already wanted to play the, the, the piano, but I didn't get the opportunity to. Okay. Then when I left school, I lived in Kingston. Yeah. Well, you know, my, my mother told me that she, she conceived me in Kingston. Yeah. Must give me that little part. <laughs> Not perfectly me that I'm a Kingstonian. Yeah, right. But yeah. She would think it was but she take me back to the country. I uh, was born in the country, so yeah. I was born in St. Catherine. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind it born under the clock. Okay. I got everybody so but <laughs> okay. unfortunately, I'm a country boy. Okay. I like town and country boy. Uh, right. you know, yeah. I love I love that, you know. Yeah. yeah. So you came from like so that was the, the, the quadrille dancing was the style of the music growing up and then you also had the the, the, the mentor the, and the, the quadrille I think it is a uh, Scottish or uh, Irish music. Irish folk, it's like a folk music. It's right? a folk music yeah, that, yeah. that the old colonial master yes, used to yes. use. I remember, I know, in those days, my grandmother and even my mother, they were too, they were still into the colonial system. Yes, definitely. And they were exposed. Mm -hmm. So we, we found out dance the white man music. Yes. That's funny. Yes. You know, the dad's down for and laugh 
because you know what I mean? Because we didn't see no black people in music at that was time, yeah. mostly the poetry. Then after that, then make we repeat like we say, the, we create the mentor, mm -hmm. and the mentor was a three-piece band. Okay. With a rumba box, yeah, and I could play that. Yeah, a rumba box yeah, yeah. and a banjo and a saxophone. Okay. That's what great yeah. mentor. Okay. And that was very excited in Jamaica. See, you know, yeah. dance or uh, rock studio, yeah, yeah. Everybody was dancing to that music. Yeah, it's a new sound. Everywhere the dance hall was full serious mm -hmm. in those very early days. Yeah. You know? Then, then it transpired into what's your, what's your memories of, of, of how reggae music came around? The creation of the reggae music. Well, for the mentor, we have the rhythm and blues man. Okay. Rhythm and blues, we can't leave that out. <coughs> yeah, definitely. Rhythm and blues is where the whole emphasis of the, the music, or the Jamaican music industry come from. Yeah. And there was R&B like Louis Jordan. Louis Jordan was my favorite man because he was brilliant, you know. Mm -hmm. And we start to go to dances and the rhythm and blues. And a little bit of Calypso, Jamaica, Jamaica was a big Calypso country, so the mm -hmm. mentor was a, a full real Calypso. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then the scare now mm -hmm. come along, because if a little before the scare, you have a lot of a bands. You have a, that, 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 there were bands all over the place, especially the five-piece band. Like what I was telling you before, the five-beat band used to come to me with my father played on paper, like a bandstand. You know? okay. So, you know, I, I pick up and learn a lot, not, not sure that, but yeah. the scan now is when the thing gets bigger now. Everybody dance in the scan, the band is to play the scan. But they learn to play the scale mostly off the rhythm and blues, yeah. listening to the American rhythm and yeah. blues and yeah. jazz. Yeah, yeah. In those days, mm -hmm. you know, and the scale really get popular, man. Scale, when you go to that scale dance, man, hundreds of people yeah. were there, man. You know, if you come back to when I started living in Kingston, you now, I have a place like Forest of All. Mm -hmm. But before I get to before I get to Farsa and all, yeah. there's a lot of things you used to go on before that. Yeah. We get into the sound system after this after this scan and the bands. Yeah. Where we used to listen to it. Not a not a Jamaican remember the bands, but bands were the sound system of the time. Yes, yes. Everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. And so the scan was really lift Jamaican music. Okay. Everywhere you go, to, those people could dance, man. Trust me. Yeah. When you go to dance, man, you have to laugh, man. It's fun, <laughs> man. You know? The yeah. woman them could dance with them chambre frock and yeah. thing like that, and the man them with them courage, we had them back pockets. Mm -hmm. You know. That sounds like some sweet times, boy. Yeah, but that was a sweet time, man. Not mm -hmm. like when you go and dance and I see people lean up on the panel and nothing like that. <laughs> Even outside the dance field, yeah. the dance would be <coughs> over. Next cross the road, you are in some hall. Yeah. And 500 people inside, and another 500 people so I couldn't get in. Wow. So, all oh, our dance hall began mm -hmm. in the scadia. Okay. We have some great bands. You came in with some of the bands that used to play at the time, yeah? Yeah, but like, like how. Jimmy Williams, six step, I can't remember that. All like, oh, the political six step and five step band. There was okay. so much, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was too busy in the room, but I was pretty young then. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but the greatest ska band ever in Jamaica is the Scatterland. Yeah. I know when that was formed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but that's, fun. That, that's one of the greatest bands of Jamaica yeah. that was so far. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, worldwide, we know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then, then, even uh, 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 a little before the sky, there's so much things to really tell you about the music. Yeah. Yeah. The sound system, come along. 
in the top 50s, the sound system. And if I tell you the truth, why I remember, I'll tell you what I know. Mm -hmm. The first phone system I've ever seen was a, was a man used of a record shop in Tower Street or Barry Street. Then Stanley Motor. Say that again? There was a record, the first record shop I know. Yeah. The shop is, I think it's at Tower Street or Barry Street. I don't remember some idea. Yeah. Then Stanley Motor. Yeah. Okay, it's the, the first sound system I, I've ever seen on a liquor yeah, board. Yeah. That was very, very early. Okay. I, I would call it a sound system. Because what you could do, you could go to Stanley Motor Place. Yeah. If you have a wedding or a liquor party, they, to me there was no sound system around there. Okay. And you could ha you would hire your liquor piece of hand to fire. I don't have, remember if it was a 300 or a 200 or what. Yeah. And two liquor boxes. And you take a van and go feed and take it and put it into a hall. Yeah, yeah. And straight up and play. And that was exciting. Even though you have the gramophone before that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because the gramophone was a little thing. You could, yeah, and just talk it about it. You could have wind up and put it into a dance with 300 people and that little gramophone would make them go yeah. and play a Oh, much is the dog. <laughs> yeah, Things like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. uh, it was fun. We were still a school boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, and yeah. so the sound system now, if I start to tell you about the sound system now, take you to that. Yes. Yeah. There's so much sound system I know yeah. in Jamaica, even before. All right, let's establish this. So the first sound system you say Stanley Mountain. Yeah, you yeah, right, yeah, start to say that. But I, I personally remember. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know no yeah, more sound system yeah. before that. So what, what year are we talking? Can you remember? We're what talking year we're about talking? 1950. Wow. 57, 50, you know wow, them time there? Wow, yes. Yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, I'm old boy. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look it, but yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know? Yeah. And I used to go down to, to his shop, me and my brethren, mm. with bicycle. I stand up outside the shop to hear the rhythm and blues them, yeah. you know, them playing and stop them out of the shop. Yeah. I think he's a Jew man. Okay. Jew boy them, no? Okay. And, and the guy's two brothers them, they stand the motor and Baba motor. Okay. Remember I know I don't have the date for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, I tell you yeah, what, yeah, yeah. a person so yeah. that I know. Yes. And I tell you not where I don't know, where I grew up with. And then after that, what 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 kind of sound system? Can you can you remember after that? After it, it was, it, it sounds, where I call it a sound system, mm -hmm. he had give you two little boxes yes. and a turntable. So you could take it into a little hall yes, yes. and play your own yeah. R&B music. Okay. Because he was a music shop, the first record shop that I know in Jamaica. So, so what's the first sound system that you can remember that string up in a dance? First sound system I know mm -hmm. in Jamaica is Goodies. Goodies. Sound name Goodies. Okay. Bad sound. Uh -huh. Where are they from in Jamaica? The town sound? Or? I think Goodies come from Walton Park here. Okay. And most of the big sound in Jamaica come from Walton Park, really. Okay. And the, and the second sound was a sound named Waldron. 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 Mm -hmm. The most people in my remember them too. Yeah. That is long before Cox and them when they come from the scene. Okay. And Joe Creek. Okay. Yeah. And Mm -hmm. Admiral Deans, Dark with Thunderstorm, okay. all them sound, okay. like, big sound, this new sound. I'll come, I'll come to the more up to the <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And that's in a, yeah. and, and, and that is. But Goodies yeah. and Waldron yeah. is the two first sound that I know in Jamaica. And a little boy. I go and listen to them. I would not mm -hmm. be one yet on this band. Okay. And they were great songs. And, 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 the, and the style of music they was playing was? Rhythm and Blues was the okay. daughter, man. Mm -hmm. You know, reggae, that, that was it was rigging up Rhythm and Blues, run Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Rhythm and Blues make most of Jamaica heard the sound famous. They were joke with our coxswain. Yeah. You know? I can't tell you a whole heap more sound, but them two there, okay. essential. Goodies. And wild jump. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and, and, and yeah, but then a song too, which was great. Nick. Count Nick. Count Nick. Yeah man. Okay. Bad song. 
Okay. To me, that was Jam in that time. To me, that sound was Jamaica number one sound. It was some people like my friend Bonnie Lee, me and him would talk and question that because to Tom the Great Sebastian uh, was a Kingston sound, which you know the sound. What's the sound them come from Kingston in those days? So we're talking. We're talking right, right about. What, early 60s? Early 60s. Early 60s. Late, very late, late 50s, 50s early, early 60s. 60s. Okay. But Tom, yeah. Tom, after I tell you about goodies and wild and a top song, yeah. and Tom, the great Sebastian, great Sebastian he was the real yes. Kingston town. Okay. That, he was the top song in those early days in Kingston. So, so there was no coxing at that time? No Duke Reed? Duke Reed and Cox just come behind Tom. Okay. Tom was the rated sound in Jamaica. Okay. Some people say more the number one. Yeah. But you know, but I, the reason why I said Nick was the number one song. Nick used to go around Jamaica and play. Okay. Tom was the player uptown, downtown. Mm -hmm. Because Tom Tom sound come from Jonestown originally. Mm -hmm. Where I come from. Okay. Jamaica Street. <laughs> okay, so after after that period of that R and B the scar I want to talk a little bit about the, the birth of the reggae music from your point of view. That's what, that's what I really want to go with. Then we're going to talk a little bit about your sound system. But let's talk a little bit about... After, after the scare. Right. After the yeah. scare, which is a great period. Yes. Big. That is the, really the brainchild yes. of reggae music. Then we have the rock steady. Ah. Now we have to do it. Yes. Right. When they come in. When, yes. when the rock steady come in, a lot of people they think that the rap said it too slow or something. It was, the sky was too fast, so they go to the rap city. So they try all kind of little movements to come up to a harder. Yeah. Like the rap city. Yeah, yeah. And what, uh, what great artists can you remember from the rap city era? Well, like to me, if you, if you ask me about rap city you now, that is the, really the soul of Jamaica music okay. until today. Okay. When you're listening to rap steady, yes. you're listening to proper Jamaican music. True. True, true, true. When you listen to rap steady, mm -hmm. rap, and yet rap steady didn't last. In period, rap steady last more about three years, three and a half years. Yeah. Four years over the top. If I say four sure. years about right now, rap steady, when rap steady comes in, it comes sharp and quick. But there were hundreds of singers was there, yeah. ready mm. to put their input into it. All sort of singers from the Alta Ladies, name them. Mm -hmm. Remember Bob, yeah. Marley, yeah, yeah. all of them, Theophilus Beckford, Slim Smith, that whole soft singer. Mm. Too, too much to mention. Wow. And I man go amongst I know most of them yeah. when all the group was farming in Jamaica. Okay. You know what I mean? So, the rap steady, to me, is the art beat of reggae. Mm -hmm. Tell anybody I tell them. That's good. When you listen to rap steady, you listen to real proper Jamaica music. Anyone will tell you that. Uh, you know, rap steady. Yeah, great. Man, it's done. It yes. didn't last long, mm -hmm. but it was very. It made a great impact. It very yeah. up to today. Because yeah. when you sit down today and listen to reggae, to mm -hmm. rap steady, Jewel Creed, mm -hmm. Tread Isle. Coxon. Yes. <laughs> it's everything, it's yeah. dance, all, it's rock steady, it's yeah. sky, it's everything, everything that's nice about okay. rock steady, you know? Yeah. And I'll tell today, I enjoy rock, rock steady music. I collect most of them, man. Okay. You know, can never have a soul record in series. All right. We're going to yeah. touch on that. So yeah. let's move, let's move forward. So after this, after the, the rock steady came? Robado. Robado. Rubber dub. Yeah, okay. Then when rubber dub comes in, then we get we start to get into the roots section okay. of Jamaica Reggae. Mm -hmm. Because the roots section didn't step in early in the business until the rubber dub come in. Yeah. And the roots and is like Channel One mm -hmm. and the roots move because the first roots roots move I ever made though. Some name another Moses. Yeah. Pox make the first. Okay. I don't want your side, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pox make the first roots music yeah. in history. Oh, wow. So another Moses. 
Yeah. That one's true, the one. Yeah. 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 Another Moses. Another Moses. Another Moses. Yeah. Back then. Uh, that was the only people, yeah, that people. people tell about the rules. Another Moses was the first youth view. We had counters, you know, Caroline, Bongo Man, and Pong. Bongo Man, and Jimmy Cliff. Okay. These are the great artists. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Man, yeah. Wicked man. Yeah, yeah, man. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. So, so it turned into Rubber Dog. Rubber dub, with the rubber dub here and now is when the music really opened up to everybody. Okay. Everybody. And yeah. Channel One mm -hmm. coming to the scene and Joe Gibbs. Yes. They were the real they, they were the rubber dub people okay. who created the rubber dub, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Great sound. Yeah. Great sound of music. The whole heap, whole heap at, whole heap of artists in that time you have people like we're you not know, jumping the gun, people like Sly and Robbie. Yes. Great, great man. Great musician. Great man. Great, great musician. Great, great. great. And he's oh, your personal friend then? Not personal friend. I know them. But you know, you know yeah. you're in the we didn't walk together, but yes. there are people that are respected and yeah, yeah. put my hands up uh, in the business. Yes, you know? yes, yes. You know? And Channel One. And even before we come to, to Channel One, we better talk about Drew Creed mm -hmm. and Coxon because the reason why you have to talk about Joe Creed and Coxon. They started making music. And we can't leave that out. Yeah. Start to press music press, and okay. studio and all that yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would I would say it in those they're the first black studio I know I never hung around was Coxon. Coxie, yeah. he was really Mr. Mountown of Jamaica. Okay, yeah, yeah, I had that before, the Mountown. You can't take that off of the great man, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Coxie was good, I know. And Coxie, and Joe Creed, I love Joe Creed's sound too, because what Joe Creed used to do, he was the first sound system to put the music over the here. Uh, and Saturday, we used to run, used to run to get on the Radio Fusion, because Radio Fusion comes in then. Okay. And he was at the church all the time. Okay. And Joe Creed used to play some. I think Joe Creed makes some of the greatest rock steady. Mm -hmm. You will listen to Joe Creed rock yeah. steady. Yeah. On hot tempo. Mm -hmm. You know, Cox makes some great tune too, but you know, Cox was a bit more jazzy. You know, oh, round okay. beat. He was okay. a round beat man. <laughs> yeah, 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 round beat. Yeah, Cox was a round beat. I'm <laughs> good today, man. Okay. He's a round beat. Great man, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I know him well. Okay. No, the tax him well. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, because I used to keep dancing in song 12. And mm -hmm. when I had a tax him song, why well, in a great man, he never really pressured you for money. I said, I'll get the date, man. I'll find a place and come tell me, man. Okay. And we go to him, Mr. Red Dad, find a date of Pioneer Tile Garden. And say, what? Yeah, man. So we give it a date now. And when him come him bring sound. Yeah. And him bring drinks. Okay. Okay. And we pay him after. Nice. No more pressure away from mm -hmm. money. We, we, we love Cox. Every man, Cox they yeah. help out that sound system. Yeah. One of my favorite songs. Okay. Yeah, the day he was Yeah, that the Cox is my favorite song. Yeah, I had a few the, stories there. There are many yeah. reasons why. I've never hear no sound on the hurt. Mm-hmm. Up to today. Play Dog plate or dog plate is to play like that. Yeah. No. No song. So is, 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 is uh, it the first one? I'll give you a little reason for that. Okay. When Cox was playing dog plate, mm -hmm. he'll play for 24 exclusive. Exclusive. Then those days you didn't have no clash like what you have today. Yeah. But if you want to hear music, I'm not over big in Cox, but it's a truth. Yeah. 24 hours, you have to go to Paxton to hear music. Because when you're making all them studio and all them music, you was up to play them all them sound. It's true. Mm -hmm. And that man play exclusive. If I hear another sound play this tune, 
I break it and put him in jail. That's where my, that's where my trophy used to go. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Bad. You know, bad is so I have I hear. Yeah. Not that I don't hear sound good yeah. or heavy. We're not talking about heavy. We're just talking about a sound that could really play music. It was yeah. pops. Mm -hmm. yeah. Greatest. Yeah, man. No, I never hear no other sound good like it. Okay. You know? Okay. We used to be a pops in the good night. Yet, yet at the time, I follow Coxon so much, but later on, a sound come on the scene. Mm -hmm. Juke is bad. Yeah, yeah. Juke is not the two baddest sound. Yeah, yeah. But a sound come on the scene, and King Edward the Giant. King Edward the Giant? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, right. He was a heavyweight yeah. champion at the time. Okay. He used to call him so Hercules and Chain, you know? <laughs> and that's why I get to know Lord Comics. Lord Comics. Yeah. Okay. And we're very highly rated mm -hmm. DJ. We are doing here a lot of people talk about. Did he, did he make music? Did he record anything? Well, in those days, he was a type of sounding man, but you know, why we used to like him, he used to come with things like. London Bridge, London Bridge is falling down, up chin chair, down chin chair. And everybody said, well, DJ, you have bad it up. <laughs> God, Machuki then was more a DJ like we call a Habla. Do the work, do the work, do the work, do the work. Yeah. and yeah. he came on, do the work, do the work, do the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, not that, lyrics. Yeah, but when vibes you, but, and, uh, yeah, yeah, but comic detective man. London Bridge, London Bridge is falling down, off chin chair, down chin chair, you know, <laughs> and you nursery rhymes. Yeah, yeah. Very bad, I you know, but, yeah, man. <laughs> you know, that when, that, it happened, I'll come back to some more so that yeah. even when my first dance that I was, I, I make in Jamaica, yeah. was on the street, we had even on Street, I land here, Barrelow, mm -hmm. and it was a, uh, just, talking about comics. Mm -hmm. But comics was so good man, a young boy and them can't chat man. Me here, you ride come here and you ride them go together. Yeah. At the one stone. Okay. And we use comics with King Edward number two set. And I tell you what, the first big surprise I, I you know that I feel like when I have to keep that dance with King Edward I feel like a man, you know? Yeah. I, I never make so much money in all my <laughs> life. <laughs> and Barino was jam, cocked, and road black, you know. Okay. At 17 year old. Wow. Yeah, man. Wow, that's nice. You know, that's nice. We have some rust on my friend, and then give me money to keep. I had a road black man, but he could chat. That's why I, okay. that I didn't use puppy soul. A bit regretted to because in my personal soul. Yeah, yeah. For but me. you would come and put chat. We like when chat in those days because I ride it just come on on the scene too in that DJ mode. I ride, I ride was a great talker, but you ride was the man. Mm. Because you ride a brother with talker straight up. I made you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even a book, lyrics. but you ride at the time when I write lyrics. Okay. And mm. comics didn't write lyrics better, but when it comes to it, he knows all the nursery when I'm talking on the mic. See. You know, the brother was valiant, you know, and she cheer. <laughs> you know, them guys, yeah, 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 all the nurse around, yeah, 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 so, yeah. you know, and those DJs, those three great DJs, okay. and he came on to my friend. Okay. He came on, he was up here, a lot of people, so he was a good friend of mine. So, and, 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 and the style of music that they used to chat on was? What was the vibe? What was the, the standard music? You say that that's the rubber dub times? No man, rubber dub never come in. That is that is the thing. The the scar type. Okay. The, the scar rock steady. Yeah, yeah. Because in between the the music, we take along some some scar. Some other people were making scar where in not Jew Creed or they make. Yeah. So those music in England mm -hmm. are more. Our farm and, and King Edward's was that because King Edward the giant, he make a lot of scam with a lot of people over here. Okay. Some wicked scam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we we've gone a little nice little journey. Yeah, we've yeah. Gone from the, we've gone from the quadril, we've gone to the Skia. Skia and yeah, the rock steady and the rubber dog. Yeah. Now, 
The big one. Chuck, where we do, we do a chuddle one. I want to know. It's what we really want to know. It's the birth of reggae music. Because I know you've got some great stories. Because it, before it was reggae, it was something else, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they had a different yeah, name. So tell, tell the people them about. Or the name. Hey, right, come about. Well, in my estimation, how the name come about. Yeah. You see, in those days, you, know, you saw some little girl run up and down around the place. Mm -hmm. At the time. You know, I can't no bother, you know, pretty nasty, but in those days, you know, like a, we yeah. like a young boy, and mm -hmm. like a girl come around the place with all them legs show and <laughs> them skirt burst and <laughs> yeah. them have on uh, shoes and that kind of. Okay. So the man used to call it, you know. Strigger girl, you know. You <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is what the time. We don't want me though, because it was nice. Yeah, 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 no, no, you mean. But they don't want them, you know. Like a little like man boy, then. Okay, okay. The man boy, Tom girls, boy, them, like that, yeah. man. Up and with boy thing, you know. Strigger. I'm going to my ass, Strigger, you know. And it's to that come. And uh, at that, within that time, yeah. that is my take on, on the name, really. Mm -hmm. You have Toots and the Metal. Yeah. Did not too long come into Trench Town. 13th Street, it was. When I know Toots and the Metal. Okay. And Toots of the Barber. Okay. Toots of the Barber. Yeah. And I think he used to hang out. Well, oh, I know it. Mm -hmm. With a man on West Road named Kappa. A man used to say Kappa more like a Wobia man. Or, he might be in the commission when he keep him thing and people used to come from country. Mm -hmm. I think Toots them come from Veer. Yeah. Not Veer. It was Veer or Mapen. So, okay. Because Toots was a man at them time. Yeah. We used to pass by my car and pray at the street and pass at the so. okay. And we used to hold our vibes yeah, yeah. in those early days. Yeah. So, and he was a good singer. Definitely. I rate him. Yeah, yeah, There's another yeah. man in the regard. Yeah. I, I respect him very much. Mm -hmm. The way I'm coming from. Yes. Because I used to get a lot of bad mouth for like my country boy and can't sing and all that. You know that kind of thing? Yeah. But that man would stick to it. And so, out of the, 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 the strege come reggae. Okay. That is my take on that. Yeah. So I'm starting to sing about the reggae, the shaggy reggae, shaggy reggae, shaggy reggae. But you, you know, when you, uh, when you mention about reggae, you can't find about 10 different people who say them were the first man who did say reggae, and the first one who did play reggae, and the first one not the reggae. But I, personally, even me and my friend, Bonnie Lee, it was a reason about that. Yeah. And maybe you could have said a straight lock hole too. Yes, yes, yes. And you could have said a whole heap of other singer who used the word. Okay, but did they, but was um, Lee Scratch Perry part of this as well? Because they, people say that Lee Scratch Perry created regular music. So I heard that story, but I yeah. wasn't there. That's, what, was that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a lot of people. Mm. If you, you could put about 10 people out there, okay. and them say, I them did sell reggae food, and I them did create reggae food. Okay. But my take on it yes. was put some the meat and we start about the, the reggae, strege, and the strege reggae. Mm -hmm. Bring it up. Yeah. Then maybe in media, I've got other people to see about it and talk about it as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe my friend Bonnie Lee could tell you a bit okay. more than that. But <laughs> I had to argue with you about it. I'm a great man. Oh, great yeah. man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, great man. Definitely. Yeah, man. I saw, saw it the my take. Yeah. I, I know I always created to puts. Yeah. Why lights it? Publicly. Yeah. Like, I owe a girl in me reggae. I call it girl reggae. Strigge reggae. Okay. Strigge reggae. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. No, somebody can put me right again, yeah. that. but that man who run from the inception of when the music can make. Mm -hmm. 
The guy now that he took some to me and credit. Okay. Credit. I give him credit for that. Yeah, yeah. To spread that. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other people may be saying that, but they keep it quiet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't make one tune and say, I need it, do it for that. Yeah, yeah. And I don't mind, I don't mind. Quite a few men could say that. Yeah. I, I, I rest up a tears from that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about, people. This is the history, you know. Yeah, yeah, this is the yeah. history, and we're talking about somebody that lived it, that no, born, I lived them all, walking, them talking. Yeah, it was yeah. there for the creation of many yeah. different things. I don't music. remember all the dates. Yeah. I think, but yeah, I was there. Time, yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. going to like a dance, man. Now I work, I'm still going to dance okay. all five nights a week. And yeah. The new sound for me, you know, all the sound, them. Okay. You can't call it a mint or so, I mean. okay. we don't have no time for that. Yeah, man, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a quick fire thing. Yeah, but, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's, let's jump now to, to, to your journey in England now. <laughs> you came to England. Yeah. Uh, I, I've got a question for you. I must answer this question. What is the first record that you ever brought? Can you remember that one? I said, this is a Dunn Sinclair question that we ask everybody, you know? So, your first song you ever bought. I did not tell you the truth. I buy so much record that I'm gonna tell you about the record thing now. Or I like fiance you to your play, but I don't want to guess and tell you no yeah, lie. Yeah, For the day me landing in England, mm -hmm. me I get record from Jamaica. Okay. Because now record shop never in the day in England much. Mm -hmm. So my friend them last send me a little month a box of record. Okay. I saw record really come from England. Why so much? record in England mm -hmm. because there was no radio station yeah. here. So you have to play a little thing at your yard for your little one. I tell you what, what they what they call the ground there again. You have to just play a thing for some little thing. So I would like to tell you the truth. I have some of them all there, but I have to go look at them. You understand? Know because yeah. my mom like record for all different purposes. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it's like no one record. Mm -hmm. They listen to jazz. My first music, when, when okay. first love of music is yeah. jazz music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I buy all kind of music. I don't ever play them tomorrow. I just buy them and keep them. Okay. I still have hold for them. See, wow. So I don't. I, we had my little story there. You know, I have to elaborate on telling a lie. Yeah, yeah no, no, I hear you. Know, yeah, 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 but yeah. I, have, I have most of my music. I'm going to look for them and make a battle there next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. What inspired you? To create a sound system. Yeah. Let, me, let me tell you from earlier, you know, I'm a man who always loves music from Jamaica, you know, but yeah. I'm with a promoter in Jamaica. Okay. Promoter. I, I'm with a promoter in Jamaica. I promote loads of dance in Jamaica. Okay. You know, coming from what inspired to mm -hmm. where I be that soul. Yeah, yeah. I make loads of dance. Uh, I use caption, I use read, yeah. I use head words, bells. Mm -hmm and sound like that. So it music was always in, in me. So when I eventually the, the last dance that I kept in Jamaica was my send off. I mean, about a thousand people there. Wow. And you or I yeah. play for me. <laughs> and we and you I go a joint song together. Okay. Because you or I is to play play a song in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And I know you right, so when I come to England, I was working. Yeah. It's a bit boring and I make now I hear the music when I want to hear again. I mean I work on music I get music from Jamaica. Loads now loads of music I get from Jamaica. So when I was in Jamaica, I can tell you how super tone come. Mm -hmm. I used to go into Halman Town. I'm coming back to you, you know? Yeah, yeah. And there was a little song on uh, Lanaman Street named Super Tone. Okay. It was a big song. Mm -hmm. The Chinaman on it. But I used to like why I'm sound man. The man sound, the melody is sound never here. Yeah, okay. Everything about the sound melody, the top chip, mm -hmm. the mid range, all right, the bass, yeah. round and things like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Enough girls used to be there because they are youth man in time, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. from pretty girl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. attract you at that sound, really. Yeah. I mean, I really go go look for you, but yeah, that sound yeah, used to yeah. attract you. And so. Yeah, yeah, nice audience. But you know, I said to myself, I said, why do you make a sound, you know? 
You know, like my soul, so like the man, the soul, you know. Yeah. Chris, man. That means a man who loves melody. Okay. I could never play a song right now, no melody. Yeah. If it would play good for me. I want to come to England and me work and thing and, you know, England cool and thing like that. <laughs> I mean, I hear the music, I mean, yeah. You hear the people that a sound around still. Yeah. Because when I come to England first, I did live in London. I live in, Glass, in Gloucestershire. Okay. Gloucester. Yeah. I spent a couple of years there. Mm -hmm. I want to get to London. Because London, all my friends and I live at Brixton and all them things. So, eventually reached slow. In Buckingham shop. Just from down by the airport there, so okay. I come as slow. I never lick a work or anything. I have to get back in on my music. I can't mean, hear no music again. I have enough music from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my friends are sent to me from Jamaica. So I buy a little grandma, I did a play a little thing, and my brethren are slow, come around. I said, like, Will you get the music from Ferrasta? But me and boss, some of them never hear me when I play the music. You have music here? Some of them say, boy, never get married, you know, and you, me, you want to play there, you know. Mm -hmm. So I say, no, man, you the better way of the big so you know, man, you know, no music, man. <laughs> you understand? You understand? You see, sir. Yeah. And then you know, that man say, I'm going to have any little thing. Yeah. But I say, I never have a box or anything for marry. When anyway, I have my two boxes, I'm going to play nice. Yeah. And I go and I carry my two little boxes and. Mm -hmm. Run some tune, man. And people say, Where are you from? And I tell him, No, I come from Kingston. I mean, I got to tell him, I'm not seeing that. We come from Kingston, <laughs> Jamaica, man. He said, well, That's why you know music. Because I have some music from here, you yeah, play, you know. See, see. You know, yes, some of them sound, man, they are playing music. That's how some is still, man. And they start to play a few like a party mm -hmm. with me two little house bats. Enough people, too, you know. Yeah. Them days I put all, mm -hmm. put all the box them on the slow, on the table and play music okay. and yeah. Yeah, exactly. give me a little chill. So we decide now, 1969, oh, wow. so now, come to the sound. I'm a land in 1969, I've never been a sound sister. I've grown up here, I've heard some good yeah, some good sound. But some music, but them should have run them, not run them music there mm -hmm. for the people. You know, they think very hypey yeah. and not real music. So, me have a work, me also do engineering work. Stop it. To stop the lorry them from jackknife on the motorway. So, me also me work all around England. Okay, yeah. But when I run England, we don't know. Mm -hmm. So, me also go on and the people are work. When I work with my van with a light part of it, I put up a work on the motor. I'm to do that work, man. The music thing, I get back with some, I say, all right. Since I get some little one one job, I slow and mate, mate, and then go ready in on them places. <laughs> Not a big thing, because I yeah. never near my sound yet. Okay. Because I don't know if I never run sound or not. Yeah. I don't want to sit down and read it, so I say, all right then. I have a bill of sound, but if I bill a sound, again I have to stop doing my work, which is a pay my job. So, but I'm not going to do it. I sit down and I say, I'm not going to do it. Neither man me want my wages every week. You know, I come to some, some man who will pay, I'm not going to pay, I'm not getting no money. Yeah. You understand? Know, so, I have to make my wages a week yeah, time. Kind of money. Yeah. yeah. So, I said to my brethren, I'm going to build a stone, but I'm not going to build a stone until I get 25 jobs. That's how I come in a stone. Okay. I you know, you never want to come in a stone because I buy a dog pay to come in a stone. I think about my wages yeah. and my family. And we reach about 21 date wow. on my book. Wow. 25 me want. But some of the little people promise, promise me. Yeah. They give me a job and things, so, all right. I mean, it looked like them job, they, kind of, they did like the way over me play. Mm -hmm. They kind of knew they play. And they get about 21 job and some more job, they put anything across. When we land in a land, I know. We land on Ferndale Road. 
han sa en bibel i mina års och det hade men like, men like him music, de var med er, ja, play dem där, och jag kan ha en nice music för honom. Men när jag ser en film, jag kommer att gå igen. Men jag har en person som har play dem music där jag play. Så jag säger, all right, all right, man. Men vad jag play med, I get in a house in Battersea Park Road. Yeah. And I you know what I'm playing there, but I say, hmm. That means I have to build a sound, then I can then look back to me and they have to mm. buy some big bags. So I yeah. buy about four big bags. Ready to build or someone build them for you? Get them build, man. Because okay. I don't want me to know what I want. You know what I want. You know. mm -hmm. you know I want. build the bags so man, and tell them so I'm ready. I'm going to go to Sea Park Road and play in a old house. About four bedrooms. Honestly. They didn't have to take on a song. Mm -hmm. Trial and cross this thing at me win and I have to beat you and, and the house was wrong. And that dance, I stopped that dance about 8.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'll follow her. Yeah. Because I had people was coming from slow and people were now in London. Yeah. I said, well, yeah. I want to play the song tonight. Call me up play the song and say, and I said, man, say, yes, brother. You like how you said song, you know, why you just play some great music, you know. I come me go to this hospital, but I call us. So I go to this song, and I go to this song. And the man, they never play the music, or me here, you play. Yeah. Where you get them from? I want to say, I get the music from Jamaica a long time. I mean, that dance, I get about three more jobs. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. So I never come in a sound from lick down nobody. Yeah. I come with a crowd. I was very, very lucky. I'll tell the same because I know it's hard out there. I come with a crowd immediately. And see they can dance and pick. It's three years. I didn't play with no sound. I just have a yes, crowd. So you so hold on, mm -hmm. so we we you do you, you select and you, you talk mic or you just play music? Yes, man. Play music. They play them here, man, kinda of bright too, but <laughs> I like now, you know. Just play my music, man. I yeah. couldn't hardly. Okay. But I said, don't forget next week, Saturday yeah. night, our road leads to <laughs> Brixton Town Hall or yeah, yeah. Our play Pekka, you know? Yeah, yeah. Me go down here, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. Vibes, yeah. Hey, don't forget, you know, next week, you know, our road leads to Pride, you know, what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Me, 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 me good like that. Yeah, yeah. But we go hardly live on the good yeah, 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 yeah. And it worked. Yeah. So I just chat from my mic and say, oh, do you love that? Oh, do you have more? That use that style. Yeah, yeah. That style. Okay. I worked for the three years. Wow. Super tone sound. Mm -hmm. Did not play with another sound. And we always run. But when some people come now, they're just telling you about my style of the mm -hmm. man said, but well, I hear about you all the while, you know. I thought me come, come, me come check you out. I said, yeah, I'm a crowd raster. I mean, just get job. Yeah. No doubt play it. I'm when? Can yeah. I ask you a quick question? Let me find a quick question. Yeah. Remember when you cut your first doublet? I cut my first doublet with a man named John Hassel. And I tell you, by cutting doublet, I never used to be buying dub. At that time, I did a curve, curve a little. I get into friendship with some at Highland Record mm -hmm. with a brother named Leslie Pound. And what time Highland was putting out a lot of record, Bob Marley, mm -hmm. Harlem Monday. And they themselves, Leslie Palmer come on here, super town play and impress. The way all we play. Yeah. And invite me to Highland Record. Yeah. To come and see him. Yeah. And we start to play all of Highland Record. Super Tom. Okay. Everything. Man in the Air, Burning Spear, we get first. Mm -hmm. All a month, two months, three months. And also at the time to the other person who Island used to give them record to play play first was Shaka. 
Puffs mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Super Town shop. Mm-hmm. I always buy all the record in the shop, so you couldn't. Mm-hmm. I don't feel a man could beat me too good yeah. when you buy a record in the shop because I buy it a lot. Yeah. But when we step up now, is when I get into Highland Record. Yeah. And they start to, we start to play the record for them. They give us, when, when a new record come out, mm-hmm. they call us and we go every Monday. Okay. And they will give us all the record. Wow. And we play what we like and we cut some of them and we want to go dub play it. We want to buy no dub from them. Yeah. So you play a promotion on that. Then yeah. one more. Mm-hmm. Then, the claw for that, Virgin come along. Oh. Virgin record. Yeah. And we play all of Virgin record. See. So when you come to Super Town, in those days, when you come to a record, you don't have to go buy a real dub play for beat we. Yeah, for your exclusive. show. Yes, yeah, And I've mentioned. Yeah. The, the, the Virgin again, only give Super Town, Cox and Shaka their record to play. Okay. And you promote, you know, it's like early days of promotion. You used to yeah, promote your yeah, man. You know, record man. So exclusive yeah, as I said. Yeah, I just saw man used to come and look. We get a record. Yeah, we play all man in deals and all uh, more Marcus Garvey yeah. and all them. Yeah. We have them man. Play a dance. I used to play a lot of blues. A lot of blues dance as well. Yes. Ah, look at blues dance now. Don't. Uh, I know the story is nobody I talk like said do blues dance is where you learn the trade from. Yeah, when you play blues dance, mm-hmm. you know the business. Yeah. Either it's roots or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the best DJ the DJ the mean we buy a yard who play a party. Because that's how you learn to play music. Yeah. And you learn music just come about a kind of speech and dash to it, don't you? You don't know no music. Mm-hmm. You have to know if it took play for people. Okay. You know? So I, we, I was very Fortunate that time to get so much music mm, which to made, play. Which made your sound one of the body sound. Yeah, man, we were good, man. Mm. You know, you know, you never talk about you know, but it's one thing to you, you go away and people tell you, so you after none of the women play, they must say, can't say them beat me. Can't beat me. This, this is the fact. This, music. This, you know? this is the importance of documenting reggae music, people. Yeah. Because people like Wallaby and, and, and Super Tone Sound. They laid the foundation for many sounds that you might see nowadays. Yeah, man. You understand? Yeah. So that's why this is so important to get the real history, the real yeah, story. Man. I tell you a true story. We yeah. don't matter about date, date, and thing, but yeah, yeah, let me yeah. tell you a natural fact. Yeah, definitely. I'm not bad at telling you, but we can't tell you what it is. Yeah, we ain't got time. So I'll tell you what then. So we talk a little bit about the sounds. So how did the record shop come around? <laughs> All right, let me tell you the record <laughs> shop. Now. I'll tell you why we're the record shop now. But I should, I in 19, around 1983, mm-hmm. the old sound system fell down. That's when sound system fell down. Okay. All sound, mm-hmm. no matter who they are, the sound just dropped yeah. the cars. The disco thing did come in. Okay. The radio come in. Mm-hmm. The the radio man, them take with the disco job, include me. Mm-hmm. Me used to play all four or five nights a week. I tell you that. And when you realize you find yourself, I'm going to play Friday, I, you know, play Friday, you play Saturday. Two weeks, that was down. Mm-hmm. And the whole of that thing called. So, the songs, that is. The man yeah, about yeah. how the shop come around. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. So, I used to have a push in here, the whole building. From floor, that's near the bar, okay. in the shop. Okay. The sound was around there. Yeah. And we have the hub steels. Mm-hmm. We were used to, that, the front of that door was being boarded up, in and out. So, really, in a, we turn the music, you could have hear the music. Okay. I used to run in here, right where the shop is. Okay. And I push in mm-hmm. around it. Mm-hmm. Friday and Saturday night sometime. Mm-hmm. And that is how the shop come around. So now my landlord was here one day in the shop here. I said to him, I said, Wally, you see the music business mash up man, I think now I'm going again, man. Why man the mother gonna find something do you know? It's true. Why the man near Martin? Okay. We know what the shop man. I'm not like I'm giving my landlord credit for that. I mean, I think about 
no shop. You don't open a shop, man. A man like you, man, with so much people, don't want so much people follow you, man. If you were not shopping, you know, what's going on? Say. You see, I tell you what I do. Who open a shop between me and you and record one said I will rent video the other side. I say, a good idea that you do. <laughs> <laughs> so the shop started nice, out. Nice. And the animal go on and I go on and I go on. But she will have more money for me and things like that. <laughs> but my little thing we we I go on with. Yeah. Can't worry, but it's all right for me. I say, I'm sure you know. I say, but Martin, me ain't office up in a shop and sell man record. I'm not used to them things. I'm used to sound system. Yeah. It's a good man have to try a thing, you know, because you see the business now. Like, gone down. Mm. And that's when we opened the shop. Wow. And we got Mr. Palmer, decide now, and we have a little chain. Because we have a big chain, but we have a chain. Yeah. But at the shop front, was long like this, around the back. It was like that. And we got Mr. Palmer, we carry the money, Mr. Palmer. Mm -hmm. Mr. Palmer said, what's the money you have? Me, if you have four or five hundred pounds, they double it and give you a record. Say, yeah, Mr. Palmer, good yeah. money, man. <laughs> that oh. Jet Star. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, because I know them money a long time, you know. And I come and I go and I spend the money and fix up the shop and open the shop. When we make the shelf, them enough record of it to make them look full. Mm -hmm. So I go in my yard and I take out all my disco them and full up my shelf, make it look like. Okay. The record shop big, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the record of a company and they have to full up that space. Okay. And yeah, make it look away. It was, was true, the building <coughs> go down, so we start to run a shop for a year or so. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, all the tax man go and do because that's another thing. You know, the business, you have, you have to watch the man. Mm -hmm. You turn a year, you just declare the man and that you run a shop. I'm planning that I run a super tall shop. Until now? Until now. Wow. It was 1984. And the shop was life. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's greatness, you know. And I can't, I can't, I, I won't bother about that, you know. So this yeah, is one of the original record shops that's still there about. Reggae, reggae record, because there was a lot of reggae record shops, mm -hmm. you know, like Desmond, F City, mm -hmm. Soprano, the, even Cox themselves, they'd run a shop all of Brixton. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And Larry Hitt, Nick them. But most of them shut their clothes down, so. uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. since then, <laughs> Red's record. Yes. And who are them shop there right yeah. now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me that man, we have patience, you see. Maybe that, that is my problem. No, it's not. It's Already a good problem. All it's a good problem. All yeah. all all thing get bad. Me see they don't fight because that yeah. me like. Yeah, definitely. So me kind of run my shop. More like a business. Mm. Cut out the us lossly part of the car, you know. Mm -hmm. They are bad with them. They are normal mm -hmm. the man thinks so. My, me declare my shop, my shop, and proper so, shop. And, and, and it's me, they said it as a black of my good, black and dread of my good friend. Yeah. Them brother, them, me and them, okay. grew up Coxman, mm -hmm. Fatman, mm -hmm. Shaka. Well, we grew up as okay. brethren, okay. good brethren, them, you know. And big up to them, man, they're still, you know. Definitely, like, definitely. You know, Lady, Shaka. Fat man, name them man. Mm. Uh, Shelly. Count Shelly. Yeah, man. Yeah. Soprano B, mm. Eunice, Never King, Lord David. Yeah, name all of us all, man. <laughs> we were, we were all yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. We were in our family, our yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, you know? definitely. You know? And then we were in the shop and. Mm. and we are not have no complaint. You know? Yeah, man, because you know what, it, 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 the, the vibes well, and the energy I get from you yeah. is it's just original, just just love and good energy, good yeah, vibes, man, yeah, man. which I get, yeah, which, which which encompasses and brings in a lot of people, yeah, you know what I mean, around you and, you know what I mean, which me, keeps you going. So. Me fight, I'm going to be um, a beat down reggae, you know, because yeah. reggae makes so much of weed, food. Well, me and you fight together. Thousand man. and thousand <laughs> yeah. and thousand. I mean, I don't like you, the war, you know, but mm -hmm. you know. No, I hear you. That's how the thing goes still, everything I've been looking politics yeah, and thing. Yeah. A lot of we can't forgive and forget, mm -hmm. you know. But me, me happy, me happy with myself tonight, you know. <laughs> I'm a dear singer, that old boy, you know. <laughs> still, still in the business, people. You know, me love you, the man. Me, yeah, me, 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 me,
the monks the youth now the feel more strong. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. Them never roll leave me, I mean never roll leave them. Definitely. You know? That's yeah. why you're still open. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's yeah, man. Sunday evening Actually, people you know, man, you're still around. Actually you would bow the world, man. I shop man. Yeah. We live we live good man. Yeah, definitely. We live good. You know, yeah, they can politics and we can blah yeah, yeah, blah. Yeah, them yeah. thing mm. get about them things. They have a sound system to man. They are really can raw around now. So we are a friend. Mm. I, I must tell you too. I like they have a good friend. Yeah. And Shaka. Yeah. Well, you know, so from your sound, those two sound, the two sound I play with the most. Yeah. Yes. Okay. In my sound history. Oh. You know? You, you those two sound. A quick question. Two. Yeah. You have a clash then? Yeah. You have a clash against them? Well, I tell you about clash now. Once two sounds string up. Yeah. They get more than dog plate at the briar. Yeah. Once two sounds show, that is my motto. It's a clash. Yes. But what kind of clash? Yeah. It's just a niceness. And I defend myself yeah. amongst them. Yeah. And then defend myself about them. But we never have no. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that. Me and, me and the man are good. Me and Shaq, me and Cops, they are way better. That's nice. Big dancing. Yeah. That's it. Mm. I can imagine, bro. You know, a back mouth, you know, me and Shaka. Yeah. Original, you so. know, that's right. I will eat more so, man. Most of the rest are so, man. All of them, fat man. Chow, we are gonna leave fat man all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a virgin, man. You come from jewel stuff, okay? Like me. Okay, yeah, man. So, Wally, yeah? unfortunately, we come to the end of this because yes. you know, we could talk forever and ever. Yeah, and man, ever well, and well, ever. we never start talking, yeah. you know. What I mean? <laughs> so, I just want to I wanna ask you a question. Mm. You know, it's just what, what do you think of the word that done seem clear? And you know what I mean, I'm really cool here. Well, I think dancing clear, yeah, you know, your thing, you know, doing mm -hmm. a good job. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it that way and spread the vibes and, mm -hmm. and always tell people the truth about the record, reggae industry. Yeah. You know, I'm going to hype it too much, just tell them, find people who tell you the truth, you know. Yeah. Everybody say them are a winner, you know, but, mm -hmm. so the truth, but I tell you the truth when me know. Mm -hmm. You know, from my head top, you know, so. Yeah, because we find it very, very important to document yeah, yeah. document the real voices, yeah. the foundation. Sometimes these voices yeah, are man. never heard. Yeah. That's why it's so important for, yeah. for you to be on a Don Sinclair yeah. platform. Yeah. So Wally, let me just say. I'm going to pick up one man before my dog. Yeah, big Bonnie up. Big up. Bonnie, I'm going to pick up one man before my dog. Yeah, big up. Bonnie, I'm going to pick up one man before my dog. Striker, just get in on music, man. Okay. I'm going to pick up one man before my dog. I'm going to pick up one man before my dog. I'm going to pick up one man before my dog. Yeah, man, definitely. Camera, man. And yourself? Yes. Blessed love. Yeah, man. Respect. Yeah, man. Man. Respect. Yeah, man. So there we have it, people. Yeah, Another Don Sinclair exclusive yeah, interview with Wally B from Supertone Sound and Supertone Record Shop right here on Acre Lane there? Yeah, man. Acre yeah. Lane. So check it out. Anywhere you come into England, people, anywhere you come into this world, yeah. come down and check Wally. He's still here representing reggae music. Yeah. So from Don Sinclair, I'm Ruli Cooley, a nice shiny tea. We are out. Another quick fire interview. Blessed love, reggae vibes. Yeah, Boom. Boom.